Hi everybody, this is Dr. Mora. Wanted to show you a follow-up case. This is an x-ray of a 50-year-old patient of mine. I did a medial meniscus root repair on her a year ago. She came in for a routine visit. I just wanted to get an x-ray to see how her knee was doing. This is the x-ray of the knee, left knee, and I take the opposite knee for comparison purposes. What I'm looking for when I see these patients in follow-up is I'm looking at the joint space. I'm seeing if there's narrowing of this joint space. In this case, very minimal, if any, narrowing, maybe a little bit of thickening there of the bone. The button that is used for the root repairs in perfect situation, in perfect position. Now, just to remind everybody, what is a root tear? A root tear is a tear of the medial meniscus in the back, and it's where the, the, the meniscus pulls off the bone. So here's just a little diagram of, of basically what was done. This is the meniscus and the tear occurs way in the back of the knee. And what I do is I repair it by making a, a tunnel that heads to that area and I pass sutures through the meniscus, pull them out through this through the button here and I tie them over here with tension and that tension brings the meniscus back. So what does the tear actually look like? Well, these are the arthroscopic images here. This is actually the tear right here. It's a great illustration of a root tear. We're way in the back of the knee uh, this is where the meniscus attaches to the bone, but the tear occurred right here, and there's a separation or a gap. I always tell people when I uh, when I uh, uh, teach about root tears, when you're doing arthroscopy, you got to go to the back and you got to go look for the gap. And there is the gap, shredded tissue right there. Why is this tear such a bad tear? Well, you have to think about the root of the meniscus as a anchor point, such as an anchor point for. Uh, uh, for a trampoline. If you have a trampoline that's not attached properly to its frame, it's not going to function when that's pretty much what happens with the root tear. This is the anchoring point for the meniscus, the downward force of weight uh, uh, from the body at this point causes the meniscus to be spit out or to be pushed out rather than to absorb the stress. That's why these tears are so bad, but here it is. This is what it looked like before I operated it. This is what the preparation looked like. There's the meniscus in the back. I'm making a bony trough. I'm actually creating a nice bony area where I will be planting the meniscus uh, into. So once again, I create a nice bony bed. This is going to be the docking site. Preparation is complete. Step number two will be to attach sutures to the meniscus attach those sutures. Step number three will be making a drill hole right over here. Here are the sutures being put in. Um, many techniques favor the use of smaller sutures. Uh, and they also favor the use of sutures that are not doubled up. I have had great experience using doubled up luggage tag number two high tensile strain sutures. I usually use two, but sometimes I use three. So there they are, luggage tag number two high tensile strain sutures placed into the uh, into the posterior horn of the meniscus. There is a bony trough. The sutures are then passed, so basically four suture limbs passed into this interosseous tunnel. And you see this gap that's present right there? Well, that gap is no longer present because the meniscus posterior horn is now reattached back to bone. And over time, the body will spot weld a, a natural uh, so there we go these four suture limbs will be passed into the tunnel that was created and they're passed into this bony tunnel pulled on and once I pull then this gap that's create that was present is no longer present and the posterior horn is now being compressed up against a bleeding bone and over time a natural spot weld will occur, reattaching the root, the posterior horn back to the bone so that when downward pressure occurs, the meniscus will cushion rather than be pulled or pushed away. That is the essence or the foundation of this type of root repair and why we do it. It's so that we can reestablish the function of the meniscus so that it, so that it can cushion. And once it starts to cushion again, or, or decrease the stress along the articular cartilage surface, then narrowing of the joint will less likely occur. Back to this x-ray, it looks like uh, the procedure has been successful. From the functional standpoint, patient is doing very well. And from the objective 
radiographic study standpoint, the space is being maintained. That's very important because even in some cases where root repair is done, and, and it's usually in cases where it's done a little bit late or it's done in people that are not favorable candidates such as highly obese patients or people that have bowing of their knee, the space will still narrow. So very good news for my patient. I'm very happy uh, for her. Uh, and um, I'm also happy to be able to share uh, this procedure with you guys. You guys take care. This is Dr. Mora. Thank you very much.